Okay, this is going to be the tutorial for the more advanced method of um, how to combine your um, two photos using the double exposure method. So, uh, traditionally the first way that we learned was uh, we placed the uh, portrait photo on top of a background photo. So this is this is like the you know easy way of doing the double exposure. You know, basically you're just creating a um, um, a layer mask and then you're using the layer mask from your portrait to be applied to your background image and then you, you put overlay on top. Now the other method that um, I did want to show you, this is going to give you kind of like a little more um, uh, you know, you can be a little more creative with, you know, creating your um, your images is, uh, you know, we're still doing the double exposure, but this time, uh, you know, we're, um, you know, making, we're almost like combining like the two images together, you know, as opposed to having it just be on top of the portrait, um, you know, you're still using part of that background as the um, silhouette of the, the image. So... Um, yeah, I do want to show you this method just because it gives you a little more um, leeway with how you want to work on your um, your final uh, double exposure photos. But this method is a, a bit more complicated. Um, you just have to have like a good knowledge of um, how the layers works in Photoshop and then the layer mask. But um, I think you're all capable of doing this. So, uh, so we're just going to follow the same steps as before. We're just going to click and drag the image onto Photoshop. I'm going to use this image here. And you know, just like I did before, uh, you're going to use the quick selection tool and you know, use the brush. And you're just going to trace your image around. Or you're just going to you know, make a selection of the person's face that you want to use. All right, so I'm just making a selection of the person. I'm using the negative to get rid of the background. So I just want to have a selection of the person and none of the background. And then after I've done the selection part, I'm just going to click Refine Edge. And since this person doesn't really have hair, I don't really got to refine the edge too much. Uh, let me go back to Refine Edge. Uh, I think it's some weird areas here, so I do want to fix that a little bit. So I'm get my brush. I'm just going to just color in those areas that I want to uh, cut out. Oops. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So, you know, if you want to double check, you can click on black and white. Remember, the black's going to be cut out, the white's going to stay. Uh, but, you know, this looks nice. I'm going to click OK. And now I have my uh, person cut out of the, the image. All right, now I'm going to actually duplicate this layer. And the reason why I'm duplicating is just in case, um, you know, I don't like the way it looks, um, you know, you have like a backup to use. So I do recommend doing the backup just um, just in case so you don't have to do the quick selection again. All right, so I got two different layers with the person's face. Now, the next step you're going to do is uh, you're going to have to crop the image. All right, so, you know, obviously I'm going to add a cityscape behind the person's back in the face or the back of his head. So I'm going to make the image a little bit longer over on this side. And we can keep it the same length. All right, so this is pretty good here. All right, so I'm going to put like a cityscape behind him. So that's the reason why I'm cropping it this way. So I'm just using the crop tool. I just click and drag and make this longer. Uh, maybe I might want to use the rule of thirds. So I'm going to use the rule of thirds on his eye. So I'm going to leave it like that. That's pretty good. All right, so after you're done with that, then you want to create a new layer. You can click down here to create a new layer or up here. New layer, click OK. And you're going to use the paint bucket. The paint bucket tool is um, down here. If you, need, you can click and hold the mouse button. It's the paint bucket. I'm going to use just a white background. And it'll keep things simple. All right, after you're done with that part, uh, now you want to add your... Uh, cityscape that you want to use your background. So I'm going to click and drag, add the cityscape. Uh, looks like I ended up behind them, but uh, we're going to move that in the front. So, okay, if you look at your layers, it's on the, the third bottom. So I'm going to click and drag this on the top to move it on top because we got to work on this image first. All right, so just like you did with the face, we're going to cut out the city in this image. All right, it's just real important that uh, when you choose. Um, 
the second image that you want to use uh, you know make sure you have like a nice shape that you want to use so I'm just using like the out you know like the outline of the city as part of like a, an interesting shape okay so you know this is kind of this is gonna be interesting when I cut this out so just like I did before a quick selection I'm just gonna highlight the buildings that I want to use and again, you know, this is a nice image to use because uh, you're gonna have some nice outlines when you cut out these buildings. You wanna, you don't wanna find anything like super flat, cause uh, yeah, you just wanna get like a nice uh, outline. And that's just like some of the things you gotta think about when you, you know, do your own. Um, if you wanna like combine your double exposures together, is you know, what do you wanna use for the outline of your image? So that's what's going to make the double exposure uh, more interesting. Alright, so I'm going to use the uh, minus. And I'm going to go over it again, just clean it up a little bit more. But, you know, the more work you do on this part, the easier the refined edge is going to turn up. So you really want to take your time with the quick selection tool. You know, make sure everything is selected that you want to use. And you know, I have everything deselected that you, you don't want to use. Alright, so I'm just going to do a couple more things inside the buildings because if you look at it here, some of these windows got selected. I want them selected. Okay. Alright, so that's pretty good. So I'm going to click Refine Edge. I'm going to look at it a little more in detail. Uh, I got a little weird up here, so let me use the brush. And I'm just gonna refine that edge. Let's get rid of the that part you don't need. Um, now I don't need to refine the edges too much on this building because you know they're pretty much straight lines, so it, it should cut out pretty pretty good when I'm done. Just black and white. Double check. Oh, I got like this area here. I don't know what happened. Okay, there we go. Yeah, some of these got to get cleaned up just a little bit more. I think I'm just using a regular brush. No, that's not it. Alright, this is probably as best as I can get it, though. Oh, if you look on the top, there's some parts I could clean up more. Hey, does everyone see this line right here? Sometimes you might get that line when you... When you cut out a city or something, so I'm gonna get rid of that line. Oh, okay, this is pretty good though. I'm gonna go back to my overlay, click OK. And you know, if you can't clean it up perfectly, you're just gonna have to do the uh, cleaning up manually. So I'm just gonna go back over here with the hard edge, clean up some of these areas that I couldn't get on my own. And this looks pretty good. Alright, so once you're done with this, I you know duplicate this layer again. Duplicate, you know, just in case, you know, I mess up on them. So I'm just gonna click on the eyeball and the ones that I don't want to use. So now what you oh yeah, this this one actually you need to duplicate it twice. So now I'm just gonna resize it. I'm gonna do Command T. Oh. Actually let me delete this first. Yeah, so just have one for now. You're going to do Command T and resize it. So I'm going to put up behind them in this picture. So when I resize it, I'm holding Shift when I resize it. It's just going to make things a lot easier when you move and resize things. I'm going to use the arrow keys. So I'm moving up and down the arrow keys and just resizing it. So now the image is going to become just like the outline of um, his body. Alright, now at this point here, I would duplicate the layer. So you're going to duplicate it. And all right, so you gotta duplicate it. All right, so this is where things get a little bit tricky. I'm actually gonna line this up a little bit better. With the uh, person's head. So I'm just gonna move it down two points for each of these buildings. All right. oh, this is fine, it's good enough. All right, so this is where things get a, real, a little bit complicated um, with the, um, the layer masks. 
So you really have to pay close attention to your layers, and uh, I'm just gonna put this head on the bottom. You gotta push, and then you can delete this layer. You don't need this no more. All right, so this is where things get a little complicated because um, you gotta have to think carefully about where are you gonna put your um, your layers. All right, I might actually might, it might help out to uh, to label these. So I'm gonna title this um, line. I'm, I'm gonna title this normal. All right, but on the lighten layer, you want to apply your um, uh, lighten. So uh, you know, for your overlays, um, so far we've been using multiply, and what multiply does is um, it kind of pushes the shadows of the image, but it makes the whites uh, see through in the picture. All right, but this in this case, we're going to actually want to use the lighten, and basically what lighten does is. Um, it only brings out the highlights of the image, but it, but all those dark areas are going to be see-through. So those are the differences between the multiply and the line. Is they kind of do like the opposite. The multiply is going to have the whites see through the image, and the line is going to have the dark areas see through the image. So you want it to be on line, just so um, it's creating almost this, uh, you know, combining of the image. And I'm going to move this layer a little bit more to um, the face. So you just want to find an area to put it in that would, you know, look like it would blend in nicely. So this is pretty good here. All right. So after I've, um, you know, lined it up the way I want it, because you know I was overlaying the, or um, you know, still, still exposing the other image, uh, I'm going to go to the layer mask here, and I'm just going to, you know, change the opacity to 30, and, you know, I'm just going to, um, you know, just go over the edges a little bit. And again, you want to use the fuzzy brush. And you just want to go over the edges a little bit, just so it, you know the image blends in well with the other image. So I'm just gonna make it blend in a little bit, so it doesn't have that you know quick sharp change. So this is pretty good by that's itself. Okay, now the other part we gotta do is we gotta have the outline of the building here. Okay, so now this is where you're gonna have to click on the normal. Okay, now I did put this normal here, but if you look at it though, I kind of lose that nice blending in the middle here. So what you got to do with the normal layer is uh, I'm going to click and drag this behind the the layer with the face. All right, so the background of the image, the building, it's going to be behind the person's head, and this is going to be on top. Okay, and I actually got to line this image up again, so. It's not lined up all the way. You see, like the building here, it's not lined up to, you know, it just looks like it's a little bit taller. So I'm going to line that up. All right. And, you know, I got the image the way that I want. So if you look at it, though, when I lined it up, uh, you know, some of these things got a little bit messed up here. So I'm going to go back to the layer mask, use the eraser, or not use the eraser, use the brush. And I'm just going to have to go over those areas that I don't need no more. So I'm just going to erase that. I'm going to erase this part around his neck. But, you know, this part's not going to be affected because it's behind the head. All right, so I'm going to erase those areas behind the head. And now the other part i got to do is the last part, which is erase. Go to the layer mask on the head. Okay, and you're going to erase um, a little bit of the back of the head because, like, this highlight's showing. All right, so you're just going to erase that. I'm going to erase this part here because, you know, I want the building to be, like, the outline here. Okay, I'm going to erase the bottom down here. All right, and that's pretty much all you need to really erase. Uh, you know, if you erase too much of it, like... You know, sometimes I might accidentally erase the ear off here. You know, I actually wanted to keep that ear. You can always go back to the white, and I'll bring back the ear. All right, but uh, that's pretty much all you needed to do. So, whoops. I'll just leave it like that. I might crop a little bit more on this side. So. Yeah.